Hey guys, it's Ty, Two Minute Architecture is back, and in this episode, we take a behind the scenes look at one of the most famous clocks in the world. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos, and check out our online store in the description below. Two Minute Architecture starts right now. Every day, an average of 750,000 people pass through Grand Central Terminal in the heart of New York City. And being a transportation hub, beating the clock is just part of the grind. There's this mostly ignored clock in the gray bar passage that displays the correct time only half the year. And of course, there's this famous clock, but that's a story for another day. For this story, we need to take a step outside to see Grand Central's most grandest clock of them all. Tiffany's largest ever, 13 foot in diameter, stained glass clock face, high above 42nd Street. Cornelius Vanderbilt envisioned the terminal to be a gateway to the city. The south facing facade was designed with three triumphant arches, with two pairs of Corinthian columns on either side of the central window. To top things off, in 1914, 18 months after the terminal opened, a 48-foot-tall sculpture designed by French artist Jules Felix Couton was installed over the centermost arch of the 42nd Street facade. The 15-ton sculpture titled The Glory of Commerce depicts three Roman gods watching over the people of New York. In the center stands Mercury, the god of merchants and travelers. On the left is Hercules, the god of strength and travel. And on the right is Minerva, the goddess of wisdom and commerce. In choosing the three gods for the statue, the artist incorporated all aspects of travel and transportation coupled with artistic grace and beauty. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to take pictures behind the face of the Big Tiffany clock at Grand Central. It was a unique experience and one that I'll never forget. Gaining access to the famous Tiffany clock is next to impossible since it's not open to the public. Located behind an obscure door in one of the most secure parts of the building is a vertical passageway that requires navigating a series of ladders. Once you've reached the top, the gray walls of the passageway turn to color as the sunlight passes through the stained glass panels of the clock face. The number six at the bottom of the clock is actually a secret door. Looking through that door is a view down Park Avenue. If you're brave enough to lean backwards out the window and take a look up, you'll be rewarded with a close-up look at the outside of the clock. Back inside, if you were expecting a massive amount of giant gears and clockwork, you might be a little disappointed. Despite the small size of the mechanism, the time is synced to the atomic clock at the U.S. Naval Observatory in Bethesda, Maryland. It is accurate to within one second every 20 billion years. I'm Tai Chi, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next episode.